One of the newest attractions at the Oregon Zoo is a baby mountain goat, the first for the zoo in 15 <laughs> years. How darling. Oh, oh this is so kind cute. of unusual. <laughs> Finnegan, the little baby's oh. called, has been on display since the day he was born three weeks ago. Oh, Drew Carney takes us for a visit. Right there, you are looking at one of the most popular attractions, one of the most popular residents at the Oregon Zoo right now. Guests are falling in love with Finnegan. Finnegan is a three-week-old mountain goat that you can find out here at the Cascade Crest exhibit at the Oregon Zoo. And I'm standing just on the other side of the exhibit with Celeste Edinger. Celeste is one of the fantastic keepers here at the zoo. So Celeste, let's talk about this birth. It was just three weeks ago that Finnegan was born, and this was a pretty significant birth here at the zoo. Very. Yeah, so this was the first birth we've had in about 15 years. So it was very exciting. Our male Honavi, his father, was brought here specifically for breeding. Honavi getting the job done, you might say. <laughs> uh, a lot of times when, when a baby is born at the zoo, we have to wait at least a few weeks, sometimes months, before we see that baby animal on exhibit. Not the case with Finnegan. Why was he able to come out so quickly and be seen? These guys, as soon as pretty much as soon as they're born, within five to ten minutes, they're already on their feet and active and moving around. And he was actually born on the exhibit. Um, so he was born out here, and he's being raised out here by mom. And she's been an amazing mom. Since you brought up those first few uh, minutes of birth, I think we have video when Finnegan was two days old, and you can see even then he was bouncing all around, really active. What is it about the mountain goats that makes them so agile, uh, so able to climb these rocks like we're seeing here? As you can see, that is the perfect environment for these guys. The alpine rocks that are clear of snow, um, high elevation, their feet were designed for that. So they actually have a hard rim on the outside of their hoof and their toes are spread, which gives them better traction. And then they have a soft, fleshy part underneath the hoof, which acts kind of like a suction cup when they apply pressure to that. So they can walk on pretty much anything um, without falling. As you can see, he's very agile up there. So you mentioned that we have, uh, in addition to Finnegan, three members of the mountain goat family here, two females and a male. And while the other may be pregnant, mm -hmm. we obviously know Sassy has given birth, and it was a good thing in some ways, maybe in many ways, that Sassy was the first to give birth. I'll let you explain. Yeah, so we were actually hoping that this would happen, and it worked perfectly because she was raised with a herd. Um, so she knew, she's seen the process before she knew what to do, whereas Montaigne, our other female, was orphaned very young from the wild. So she did not grow up with other females. She's never seen the birth process. So we were hoping that she would get to watch it so that she would hopefully be a better mom. Celeste, here's my advice for our viewers. Yes. Come through the main entrance at the Oregon Zoo. Immediately you will find the Cascade Crest exhibit and lay your eyes on one of the zoo's newest residents. Again, it's three-week-old mountain goat, <laughs> Finnegan. Oh, so sweet. Drew, thank you. Well, you heard him mention there that one of the other female members of the goat family might be pregnant, so Finnegan might have a little playmate oh, soon. Oh, wouldn't so that be nice? Yeah. That has literally brought new life to that exhibit. Because yes, we were saying it. I tended to walk by, but yeah, now yeah. I now everybody's like Finnegan. fixated. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get to today's Tuesday.